Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to try not to be in a bad mood for this, but anyhow, let's get started. I wanted to talk about something offhand a lot of players are having issues with, um, and I mean, a fair amount of the community and friends I know have had this happen. I've had it happen twice, and this time I ran it full out. So if you are catching fish, whether it is with a bottom rod or a float pole, either the even a spell launcher and a uh, lacorzador, which are the top poles in the game, once in a while you'll hook a uni that at first you think you're going to be able to gain, but you can't. And I can tell you personally, uh, there's some repeating mechanics with these, a couple that do happen. Out of probably about 15 unique uh, Paimons, I've had it happen twice. Most of my friends have had it only happen once, so it doesn't seem to be super common. But I don't want you guys to waste your time on this, so I want to make sure I explain what's going on. So this is the spot that Ian... Uh, who actually is in, I believe, he's at the uh, second. Here, we can take a look at it real quick while I'm here. We have a, oh, in the, oh there's the deal going on again. Ugh. So this is one of the issues, too, with the new update. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. Hopefully it is. But, um... In order to get your thing to work after you've been on a while, sometimes, not all of it, we're going to do this. I know how to get it to actually work here. you got to make it wait. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to look at Arapaima. There we go. But there seems to be bugs coming out. So Ian, this guy here in fourth, is the guy, one of the guys that helped me find the spot. Just want to give him credit real quick. And also, you guys can see the weights here. Also, some of these on these leaderboards that are friends of mine, like this one here, was caught from shore. So I want to make that very clear, guys. That one was caught from shore right here. Um, that being said, we are getting some of these Arapaimas that are just running and you can't get in, no matter how you do it. And I know people are going to say, well, just your drag and your speeds and... Your angles, trust me, I was doing circles, and I, honestly, if you're watching my character, everything I tried, it probably looked like I was having a seizure. But some of the mechanics of these fish in particular, I don't know if they're intended or not, but they repeat themselves, and I wanted to show you guys, or explain to you guys what they are, so that it doesn't happen to you guys, and you guys can know just to let the thing go, because you're not going to get it in unless... Somehow it accidentally goes by you, which almost happened to me. But anyway, I fought a fish. Let's get to the point here. I fought a fish for three hours. Three and actually three hours and a little over a half. So I think three hours and 40 minutes. For example, you guys can see it's 740 now. And um, this was at 406. Uh, I didn't get to reply to this mes message, guys, so you can see. That's how long I've been fighting it. Um, <laughs> uh, that being said, so the mechanics of these fish you're going to notice right away. If you fish in this spot, and you can use these theories elsewhere. I've had this happen twice, like I said. Not so much in other spots, but other people have. You have the same repeating mechanics. For example, when the, the fish that you can't catch here you know, from this spot, comes out, it'll do a few things. If it goes that way, which both of them have done, it'll go out to like 270 a bunch of times, they come back into about 80, and then 270. Once it does it more twice, I just unhook it. Also, they can make their way along over here, and they'll do this thing where they will cross right there at 200 and just bounce back and forth pretty much for a whole time that's another one to get rid of and also in this three and a half hours too and this actually happened on both fish that I did so I had another one that was two and a half hours and if you guys are wondering why the heck are you doing it for two and a half hours I wanted to see if there was any patterns I'm a big fan of game mechanics 
And anyway, this one was doing it about 200 here each time. And both times when they do it, once in a great while, they'll come down the shore like here. And then they'll come down like the shore here. And then they'll just go back to doing the same old, same old. I don't know if this is an intended mechanic or if it's just a bug. Because, you know, the update just come out. I'm trying not to be one of them people that's screaming mad about stuff. But hopefully, maybe there's an off chance you, if you guys see this and uh, kind of realize what's going on so you know to on a hook them. And yes, you can fish these out of a boat here. I know that. But with the top gear in the game, um, both bottom and, and, and float poles, you should still be able to catch a fish. I've never seen a game where they made something actually impossible, so it's hard for me to believe this is an intended use. Uh, that being said, I don't want to be rough on the developers. This is a very new update. They're in uncharted territory with these new fish. Uh, I, I, if, if one of them happens to be watching, um, you know, this is a pretty easy fix. You could uh, do something like a half-life, uh, for example, or a quarter. After a half an hour, no matter what, the fish loses a quarter of its power every half hour. So, you know, you would go from 75% of the fish after power, after, you know, a half hour down to where it loses another quarter. So it would be down into like 50 or 60 percentile and so forth and so forth until it slowly got weaker and weaker. That way there would at least be a way to get these fish. Um, and I know you could do it from a boat, but... I don't think that's the intended purpose. I doubt that that is it, especially with a lot of people having this problem. I doubt the game creators made it impossible to catch a fish with their best rods. Uh, so I don't want to make this ranty. I just want to let you guys know of a, you know, a few issues. Obviously, there's more issues, um, you know, with the switching rooms and whatnot. But anyhow, guys, uh, I'm gonna end the video now. But just if you guys get these fish. Unhook them because they're not coming in no matter how you do it. And uh, and the reason, another reason, real quick, it's not why I don't think it's a bug, is that 389, which is the fourth on the leaderboard, was caught from shore. And there's a bunch of them, other big ones on the leaderboard, including me with a 360 pounder that was caught from here on the shore as well. So I don't think it's an intended deal, guys. And just to be clear, I did have to let the fish go at one just so it didn't break my pole. It wasn't worth breaking the pole. And it's kind of good to see that the balance on my, um, you know, I bore down to 1%, 12% on my reel. That's pretty close. That's pretty consistent. Hopefully it helps you out, guys. We'll see you next time.